Well, here we are on Saturday, just after a very big rain last night, breaking all the records. And this is our Darabin Creek. Normally a very little stream right in the middle and some feet down. But um, it's actually been right up to the base of those trees over there earlier this morning, so it's already dropping. But it is really flowing a raging torrent, one might say. And just up the creek there is Northlands, heading north, and then going south. It goes all the way down and meets the Yarra River. Let's just have a look a little bit further downstream. Here's the bike track where Anthony and I used to go riding a lot on the bike. Over there, where do you want to go, son? How about a hello to Grandma? Would you like to say hello to Grandma in Switzerland? Go on, wave. Come on, son, we'll just go down here a little bit and watch a little bit more. Just over here. So during the drought years, this uh, little creek was barely flowing. You could just step across it, only a couple of feet wide. So it's certainly getting a lovely flush. It's had a couple of flushes lately, actually. So it would have been good to see it when it was right up to uh, right up to the bank right here but anyway it has dropped a little now well there's Mieta and Anthony so this is a message to all the good folk in Switzerland and we give you greetings from wet Melbourne record uh, rainfalls last night lots of floods up Mildura but we're okay where we are because we're on high ground so we're very lucky that's where the water got to it really is something to see this little baby creek now a raging torrent That's a lot of water coming down from the hills um, or the farmlands further north of Melbourne where the creek begins. That's the end of it. So that's the end here. Right, well, the push bike people are riding through this little section. I don't know how deep it is, but uh, not too deep. So it's uh, certainly a sight to see. Wouldn't it be great to go down with a canoe? It would certainly be challenging. I don't know how far you get before you crashed in a tree. We've walked a little further down the Merry Creek along the bike track. And um, in Heidelberg. And we've now come to a section where it's no longer dry. But it is passable because the push bike guy just came through without getting wet feet. Normally just a very little shallow creek some feet down below this surface and um, something you can almost step across most times but not today. We've had record rains over the night in various parts across Victoria as a spin-off from the cyclone uh, Yazzie and even having an effects down here in Melbourne. All the mosses are going crazy lately with all the extra wet weather. They're growing beautifully. Look at that. Ah. Yeah. The orange moss. Uh, 
Another fun location when it rains is a place called Pound Bend up uh, near Warrandyte. And of course here, <laughs> the water is right up. And uh, you can usually walk down in there. This is a loop in the river. And up here is where they've borrowed a tunnel to the other side of the loop. Well, there goes a floaty down the river. Yes, it's going really going well today. You know, we'll just go up and have a look at the tunnel. Somebody dropped a drum in. Oops. Just about full. Just about to the max. Another couple of feet and she'd be full to the max. Oh, well, that's pretty full, isn't it? Yes. It's a tunnel you can walk through. It doesn't take much more. No, another couple of feet and the tunnel would be submerged. So it's quite a way to the top where the road is. And the bush is certainly thickening up around here with all the wet uh, the last couple of years. A lot of uh, curiosity seekers come to see this phenomena. Down Ben, out of Warrandyce, Melbourne, Australia. Usually a gentle flowing uh, stream coming through this tunnel on the loop of the river. Today almost running at a maximum joining the loop of the river over there and continuing on its way down to the city. And this is the Yarra that goes through the city where all the festivities are held. Certainly getting a good flush. Known, where, known as the river where the bottom flows on top because of its muddiness. It's many, many years since it ran as a clear river. If you were floating through there, you would probably bang your head on the roof. taken a little drive from Pound Bend up to Warrandyte and had a lovely cappuccino at the cafe and now just walking by the side of the river here it is usually just a very small sort of river with uh, you know plenty of rocks in the bottom of it we used to go canoeing down here but she's flowing very nicely as a real river today. Can't get a good view of it here, we're up in the bushes a bit and higher land follows the road through Warrandyte and is a very picturesque area. Lots of bush in the hills around and uh, picnic areas and so on. A very lovely spot in Australia if you happen to be watching this from overseas or anywhere in the world do come to Warrandyte. We welcome you.